Windows 10 original uh, yeah the way I uh, would love to see it for myself and uh, this is the home version uh, we just installed it I also installed some apps I spared you uh, the looking at the installation of these apps I will just uh, show you a little bit what I have here you can see the system this is the Acer um, Aspire 5310 it has a 1.6 gigahertz processor, Celeron processor, yep, yep, Celeron M processor, and we have 2 gigabytes of RAM, okay? Stuff is also set up a little bit to, you know, um, give the best performance instead of the best look and feels, okay? So, uh, I modded a little bit and fixed a little bit, etc., so it uh, will, you know, just do whatever I want it to do. So here you can see I set it to you know best you see the windows they don't look so beautiful they look like classic skin so but that's all good to me because to me it's more about you know uh, speed and that it runs good stable okay about the start menu um, I did not change it uh, with classic shell I did not find the need because in fact now that I removed all the apps out of it you know I find it really nice and quiet as you can see there's no Windows Store anymore in here there's not even one app in here you know apps are not working if you want to install an app it's saying yeah um, the software to install apps is not available so we have no app at all in the system okie doke um, about the size of the system I just cleaned up the hard drive uh, did some cleaning and yeah including the software that I already downloaded that might be two gigabytes or so. Um, the the complete installation took about eight gigabytes. All right, eight to nine gigabytes. I saw that it was that we used, but now we are already on 21 gigabyte because I did many things already. Yeah, many things. And one of the things that I did is um, I installed the game, uh, Real Flight 6. Remember, I made a popular video why i was not uh, happy with windows 8 and that i downgraded back to windows 7 how to downgrade from windows 8 to back to windows 7 and um that was because one night i uh <coughs> i was uh, i just installed windows 8 and then i you know wanted to test my real flight and this is the game and I got the error and in Windows 10 I also get the error but that is a different error just take a look you see that uh, K E K K error 50 uh, translation file blah 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 you know we just hit ok and the game will load that's what I love of Windows 10 just like when you install it on a Mac you know when you reboot uh, 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 into when you when you installed Windows and you gonna reboot the Mac then you see some question mark and some hard drive with the question mark you know normally that means uh, you know your your MacBook is is, is, is bricked and then boom suddenly windows comes out of nothing and it starts booting up the system it's just fantastic and uh, that uh, brings a smile on my face because i love this game very 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 much mm. you can see direct x12 is uh, doing a good job huh? Isn't it beautiful? Look at the environment. I feel so good that I can, you know, fly again and I crashed. So, you know, this is really beautiful. So we can fly. Um, we have, of course, uh, iTunes. And you guys are like, why do you have iTunes? Well. I already made a video about it and if you're not listening or not watching my videos then then you know you will not know but with iTunes you know um, you can get fantastic music completely free you can download music here 
hours and hours of music completely free and you know I'm a reggae uh, lover so I have all this music you know I just download whatever I would love to hear so it's uh, reading the stream no brothers and sisters good day today how you doing I hope you're doing okay so here we have uh, 18 more carrots reggae radio these are all reggae radios up here you can see you know these are all complete shows with hundreds of what oh okay what is this this podcast is unavailable for download because this podcaster has reached their panel oh okay this guy is very popular in other words so that means just get another one you know and 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 get your benefits you know uh, out of these these fantastic broadcasts of these guys you know it's fantastic it's just fantastic um this guy has no music oh this guy has no music peeps so what i'm doing here effect you know i'm uh, i'm listening to music here Nice, eh? Ja works, respect to Ja works. Ja works, one love, man. Big up. You know, and if you want this music, you just, you know, hit download there. And you hit download there, there, there. You just download a bunch of them, and you will have a couple of hours of music. As you can see, this thing is one hour and nine minutes here. You can see the downloads coming in. So never ask me again why I install iTunes, okay? good um, for security of course we have Komodo internet security installed it uh, by unpacking it with 7-zip uh, and run the original installer if you don't know how to do that then you did not watch my videos I'm not gonna talk about it how I did it here you know just check my list and you will find some Komodo videos there and you will see that um, installing them by unpacking them with 7-zip um, won't give you any risk of you know also installing the spyware that comes along with Komodo internet security Al although I must say that their installer download file went from 220 megabytes to 164 so I'm wondering what what they removed out of um, the spyware and adware and bloodware section okay though um, okay so uh, here you can see I have a VoIP phone this is my VoIP phone up here you can see my number you know uh, I can be called on this number straight uh, on this computer I can also place phone calls I call the Chinese to bring me some food today okay so I have this number for many years already so yeah this also works very well I'm standby now I just have a phone a, a, a landline phone here uh, on this Windows 10 computer um, you're like uh, what's up with the Camtasia well Camtasia this is Camtasia version 2 and it's built uh, somewhere in 2005 on the 18th of July um, yeah I have something with the 18th of July if you don't know what it is then probably you never watched my videos yet uh, but the 18th of July to me is very special day okay um, so yeah I'm using this why I'm using this version and not version 8 well because um, the rendering of this file that I'm creating right now uh, will go just as fast as with my iPhone um, this won't take me one hour to render just like how uh, you know in the latest version a small short uh, uh, desktop recording takes hours or well no hours well yeah this is still an old processor this is the Cedarron M processor and 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 uh, um, 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 the newer software you know Camtasia 8 is also made for yeah them stronger computers you know dual core quad cores and things like that and even they 
you know cannot beat this computer running this version of Camtasia because I beat them uh, if it comes to rendering a complete video project into a film okay so that's why I'm using Camtasia version number two about um, restoring a Samsung phone etc or then running or then fixing a phone uh, is also going very well yesterday I fixed the Samsung S2 back to stock uh, and I did it with Arden and Arden was running just fine here on uh, on this Windows 10 machine for real um, no no complaints really uh, the, the the repair went went good and uh, everything went fine and the phone is running and up and playing some music for me on the background whenever I want to listen to music so is this a good system well you know this is uh, my first Windows system that I really love because I know what I did to it and I know uh, what it's uh, yeah um, how it's reacting I know who and what is not connected to it anymore um, I, I, I blocked so many ports uh, in the firewall so you know it's hard to get into this computer hard I removed uh, uh, the keylogger and and all this stuff you know I called with Microsoft today and um, I had a very long conversation with them and uh, it seems uh, not to be illegal to you know uh, do this and you know kind of protect your system if you're going uh, on the internet you also need the firewall and, and, and the virus scanner to protect yourself against uh, yeah malicious websites that you know want to plant all sorts of trojans uh, on your computer so yeah um, but it's also uh, allowed to do that uh, for your own on your windows 10 computer and even windows 7 windows 8.1 because they all got updates and in fact they are all having now key loggers and yeah that's uh, what uh, 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 yeah today was proven to me you know and uh, really um, when you see uh, this then you almost cannot believe it and uh, well uh, in fact I also promise not to you know um, to really bring this in, in, into the into the into the public but in fact um, yeah I think every user especially little companies they have the right to you know protect their data I mean like if you're creating something uh, top secret on your computer then yeah you don't want it to be leaked to to some server because they all have access to to your system and uh, in fact that all uh, is, is, is blocked now uh, in this system and uh, yeah I've, I can activate it the normal way I can also uh, uh, do everything uh, the normal way so I don't have to you know um, do all sorts of crazy things there you can see uh, the software that uh, I installed iTunes, Kodi, uh, Captasia, um, Void Booster, The Real Flight 6, uh, Firefox, uh, 7-Zip and a very uh, small tool that uh, helped me to you know kind of finish uh, whatever I wanted uh, to to do on this uh, computer so yeah this is a completely uh, a, 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 a quiet system that is 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 yeah um, fully legal um, no no cracks no hacks no nothing uh, it's not yet activated because in fact I don't have uh, a serial number for uh, for this uh, machine in fact you know so I installed it without a serial number so um, very soon I will also get the not activated uh, in here you know I can probably rearm it uh, one or two times I'm not sure I must look at the Microsoft website and then I can still use this but this is of course a test machine this is not to keep this is just to you know show you um, whatever the result was of uh, the Microsoft Windows 10 original that I created with the software of uh, Dino Nui um, NT Lite. So this is the result, and uh, 
I like it very much uh, for what it is uh, until now um, and uh, yeah I will use it uh, as long as possible because uh, I want to test it even more and I want to make even more Windows 10 videos uh, because I think Windows 10 is uh, yeah the way it is now the way that I you know got it now I think that is really fantastic and uh, worth to use uh, beside my Apple and my Linux computers this was my review I hope you liked this video uh, I, I, I think it was really a lot of fun to create it my sound is not uh, as good as usual because I'm recording with a little crappy microphone but we're also on an older laptop so you know uh, being able to do this with the latest uh, software available in Windows world is already something really fantastic I want to thank you once again for watching if you like this video of course uh, don't hesitate to uh, subscribe to my channel and I say hasta la vista till my next video